I'm Jamie and welcome back. Today we're checking out this, the Telefunken TDA-1. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know there's only one thing that I really care about, and that is, well, what's it sound like? <laughs> Not a bad starting point at all. I mean, I know literally nothing about this bass. Someone seriously just handed it to me about 20 seconds before we played it. But it's got a pretty nice throaty character. It's certainly full sounding enough. So let's run that same signal through the TDA-1. Let's see what happens. I mean, they sound really close. Maybe, maybe this one's a little fuller sounding, but in terms of signal degradation, there is none. This is a clean, pure DI. There's no questions about that. So let's play around with it in post and see what it might sound like in the context of a proper mix. And by the way, if you like the way this bass sounds, please head over to my Discord server. There's a link in the description. Click there, tell me what you think. And if you don't like it, well, just go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll never see it. Right. Okay, now just like with the last example, here's another bass that actually isn't mine. And if I'm being honest, I really didn't like it. It's just a little bit too thin for my taste. So let's run that same exact signal through this DI. Let's see if it makes any kind of noticeable changes to the tone. Yeah, and it's pretty spot on. This is a very clean DI. I'm not noticing any kind of detectable coloration or changes in the tone. So let's do this. We'll hit a little bit of EQ and compression using the Sonic Cake Boom Avenue. Let's see if we can't just get a little bit more oomph out of this bass. We'll put that in context with the rest of the band and see what it sounds like. Oh my God, this bass is almost perfect just as it is. And to be honest, it was a great choice for this genre because it's full bodied. It's got a present top end that's not too sharp or you know abrasive, which means it's also gonna be a great example for testing out this DI because it's high fidelity. There is so much detail in this instrument that we're gonna notice if this thing changes the tone at all. So let's run the same signal through the TDA-1, see what happens. Thank you. 
That's beautiful. Honestly, I really am impressed. There's a lot of detail in this instrument and this DI is capturing all of it. So now I'm gonna squash the shit out of the dynamics like you're supposed to with reggae and we'll drop that in the context of a proper mix. And also, if you wanna know what I did to process the bass to get it to sound exactly this way, just check out my deep dive video over on Patreon. <laughs> that's what the Telefunken TDA-1 sounds like. And by the way, if you want to know what the TDP sounds like, that would be the passive version as opposed to the active. Uh, there's a link to that video in the description. And hey, I want to say a big thank you to Zounds for not just loaning me this DI, but the majority of the equipment you see me using in these videos. So if you like what you hear, you want to get one for yourself, please just click on those links. And yes, I get a very small commission out of it. So thank you for helping to support the channel. Right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon. And in particular, these names right here. Y'all are the MVPs. I couldn't do this without you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And remember to like and subscribe, turn on those notifications and go buy some merch or come support over on Patreon. There's tons of awesome perks and exclusive content waiting for you over there. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Stay well. And we'll catch you next time. Just keep waiting.